All right, guys, so we've got a full moon tonight. So I've got the C925 on and no reducer, so 2,350 millimeters. I've got the ASI 482 on, one shot color camera, a little planetary style camera. It's got big pixels on it. So I'm curious to see what we can get out of this. So I'm um, just going to wait a little bit longer and then I'm going to get started on this. So should be a good one. All right, guys, so inside now, um, now I'm gonna have to get focused because I've obviously, I've swapped over this, um, this camera from the camera that I did have on here. So I've slewed, basically slewed over to the moon just using Stellarium, because it's quite an easy way to do it. So I just connected my Ioptron mount in Stellarium, which is polar aligned, and then gone to the object, I'm selected slew. Now I've got sharp cap, so I'm just gonna, I'm obviously out a little bit, so I'm just gonna find out, just use my arrow keys here and get, looks like I'm heading in the right direction. All right, so obviously a fair way out of focus at the moment, so let's start moving. Whoops. Let's just start moving our focus. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's go there. Yep, that's starting to. Oh, yeah, here we go. Quite something, eh, being um, this close in. So we've had so many clouds lately that, you know, the moon. If I get a little gap like I'm getting tonight, it's just really nice to be able to have a go at something like the moon. All right, guys, you can see how awesome that is looking. All right, guys, so I've been through my individual exposures here and I'm just gonna have a go using this. I've never actually used this before. This is the Lunar Mosaic tool. So basically, it's asking me to set a series of alignment points on a particular edge. I've chosen the top edge. Um, whoops. So I've tried this once and I obviously got it wrong because the panels were... Oh, come on. The panels on the left side were not quite... Um, they were chopping off a portion of the moon, so I'm going to have another go and just see if this works now. So it's basically asking me to set this alignment point on the top. It's asking me to basically set it three times. Um, whoops. Okay, so that's frame two, obviously. Now we're on to frame three. It looks to have, so it looks to be working this time. The first time I did this where I set my alignment points, I must have set them slightly wrong because it was actually slightly chopping the left side of the moon off here. So it looks like now I'm getting even spacing on either side. So that's good. Yeah, that looks good because I can see the, I can see the, um, you know, the black portion there on the right side of the moon. Okay, so this should be our last two little panels here. Now, as you can see, it's about a, what is it about? an 85, 90% moon tonight. So it's kind of nice. I've got this little bit of shadow as well on the this bottom corner here. Okay, guys, so we can just see now what it's created. These are our eight frames. It's about a thousand or eight video files. And we got a thousand, put a thousand frames in each file. So next we can take these and we'll have a go and see what we get.
All right, guys, so I managed to get a few, obviously, frames that I would just individually um, stacked here. So these were probably around, um, I don't know, 1500 frames or something like that. So again, this is the ASI 482, so it's a pretty, pretty decent size sensor. Um, so these have all been sharpened basically in, um, so processed in auto stacker first to stack the uh, video files into um, probably about 10% um, stack in auto stacker, get 10% of the best files out of that. And then processed um, in Registax to sharpen each of these images as you normally would. And then taken into Photoshop or PixInsight, I think I used a bit of a variety of both, and um, basically saturating the colors here to bring out some of that nice mineral mineral moon that I look. So I quite, I quite like the look of yeah, quite like the look of this sort of mineral moony sort of effect here. So yeah, and then this was a yes, just a slightly different angle of the same. I think less saturated. It's a bit of a it's one of those things with a mineral moon. I think you can you can really choose how far you want to push that saturation. Um and then, you know, this one I think I pushed it a bit more on but also, because it wasn't a fully illuminated moon, I thought this looks quite nice down the bottom there. You get that kind of nice shadowing effect. Um, probably not as sharp as I would have you know, liked, obviously, out towards the edge, um, but still, still looked pretty cool. Anyway, and with that, I basically then went on to, um, I processed the, um, the mosaic that I'd done in SharpCap. Um, I found a program actually, I was looking around to see what would be best to put all this together in and I did find, I'll just share this with you now, um, this program, this um, image composite editor, I think it's a Microsoft program and I managed to find a, a, a download of it and I dropped all my files in here basically from my mosaic planner in SharpCap and it did a great job at stitching them together. So just a bit of a, a bit of a tip there if you want to have a go maybe using this image composite editor, very good for stitching images like this of the moon together. So that's what I ended up using in the end. And then again, processed that final image then in um, a bit of PixInsight and Photoshop to bring out, bring out the colors. So without further ado, I'll leave you, um, hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I'll leave you with the final, um, final mosaic that we got, which was a pretty decent sized image as you can imagine and um, stitching all these together so i hope you're getting some um, hope you're getting some clear skies everyone thanks very much for watching as always maybe a like and subscribe if you feel like it and um yeah get out there and um have a look at the moon if that's all you've got so catch you later and have a good one